Today, I want to introduce 10 ways to enhance your English vocabulary so that you can sound more professional at work. Then, you'll get to hear me using this advanced vocabulary in a formal phone conversation where I explained why I missed a deadline to my boss. If you're new here, a big warm welcome. I'm Emma, founder of the Hey Lady community, a safe and supportive space for women to meet, make friends and practice speaking English together. This lesson today is all about 10 ways to enhance your English vocabulary and sound more professional. Let's start with sorry. There are so many different ways to say sorry, but a more formal and more professional way of saying sorry is simply, I apologize. Sorry for not being clear. I apologize for the lack of clarity. Instead of talk about, use discuss. Can we talk about the agenda? Now this sounds so much more professional when you say, let's discuss the agenda. But don't make the mistake of saying discuss about. We talk about or discuss. Instead of find, use encounter. We found a problem, we encountered a problem. Discover is another great and more advanced word to use instead of find. So you have a couple of options there. Instead of error, use discrepancy. Now this is really interesting because an error is a mistake. And in a professional context, it may not always be the best thing to do to say, I found an error or I found a mistake, particularly if it was you who made the error or the mistake in your own work. When you use discrepancy, it puts the emphasis on the fact that you noticed some information didn't match. So it highlights your attention to detail rather than the mistake itself. I noticed an error in your spreadsheet. I noticed a discrepancy in your spreadsheet. Listen out for when I use discrepancy when I'm talking to my boss on the phone. Instead of think, use anticipate. So think has several different meanings, but when you're using it to predict a future outcome, like I think it will rain tomorrow, then using anticipate makes it sound like you've really thought deeply about it and you fully expect the result. It took longer than we thought. It took longer than we anticipated. I think it might take a week to finish. I anticipate it will take a week to finish. A similar pair of words is guess and estimate. So just like anticipate, Using estimate makes it sound like you've really thought deeply about the likely result. So it's definitely the more professional choice. I guess it'll take three more days. I estimate it will take three more days. So it seems more calculated and confident, which is very helpful in a professional context. Instead of important, use crucial or paramount. Now, it's perfectly okay to use the word important, but in a professional conversation, you could try using crucial instead. It's crucial the information is accurate. And paramount emphasizes that nothing else is more important. Truth is paramount. Both of these options are stronger adjectives than just important. Instead of send, use circulate. So you might send out a copy of the report, but it sounds so much more professional to say, I will circulate the report ahead of Friday's meeting. Now, circulate always implies that there is more than one person receiving the information. If you are just sending to one person, stick with send. But if it's more than one person, use circulate. Instead of wrong, use inaccurate. Wrong is such a strong word. It's a negative word. In most professional contexts, inaccurate is a more professional choice. You could say the information is wrong or the information is inaccurate. Instead of make, use compile. So if you're bringing several things together to make something like a list or put together some options, 
then using the word compile is a much better option. So instead of I'll make a short list of applicants, I'll compile a short list of applicants. Before you watch me speaking to my boss over the phone and explaining why I missed a deadline, I want to let you know about our phone call challenge that we're running inside the Hey Lady community. Have you heard how epic Hey Lady challenges are? All Hey Lady members are able to complete the challenge and this month's challenge includes five training videos that will teach you new skills to use over the phone. So you'll complete one training every day for those five days and at the end you'll have a conversation and you'll get real feedback on your recordings from one of our coaches. One of our coaches is going to listen to your responses and give you personalized feedback. Like I said, all Hey Lady members are able to participate in the phone call challenge and get feedback on their pronunciation, their intonation, their pitch, volume, cadence, pace, all of these pronunciation features so that they can feel confident every time they take a call. Of course, you get to complete this challenge inside the Hey Lady community as a member where there are unlimited opportunities to practice speaking every day. So you'll get full access to the whole Hey Lady platform for a month, including the phone call challenge. And all of that is just $39 for an entire month. There is no better time to come and try out Hey Lady for yourself and complete the phone call challenge. Good morning, Charlie. Do you have a moment to discuss the quarterly report? Morning. Yeah, I've been waiting on that report. It was due yesterday. What's causing the delay? I apologize for the delay. We encountered unexpected data discrepancies that took longer than anticipated to resolve. It's crucial that we ensure accuracy before finalizing the report. The last thing I want to do is circulate inaccurate information to the team. Accuracy is paramount, but it's disappointing that we're not meeting our deadline. The board is expecting this report today. How much longer do you need? I estimate we need another day to verify everything thoroughly and compile the final analysis. I appreciate that it's not ideal, but can I get the report to you by midday tomorrow? All right, another day, but please keep me updated on your progress. I don't want to be left wondering where you got to. Absolutely. I'll provide regular updates and ensure that the information has been triple checked. I want to make sure we meet our quality standards. All right. Thank you for prioritizing accuracy. It's important that we get this right. And next month, we need to ensure it's done right on time. You got it. Thanks for your understanding. Oh, those conversations are never easy. But when you're using assertive, professional language, it helps to demonstrate that you're thinking clearly, that you know what needs to be done, and that you have your priorities in order. So even though I missed my deadline, I managed to demonstrate to my boss that I had the situation under control, that I knew what needed to be done. So tell me, Will you start using some of these advanced words more at work? You can certainly start by introducing them into your emails, right? And then perhaps introduce them into your conversations soon after. I know you'll get the hang of it really soon. So good luck and I will see you in the next lesson.